Hello everyone and welcome to Deserted. I've locked myself to the Caridian Desert to see how far I can push myself and see what I can accomplish in this seemingly empty wasteland. I aim to accomplish everything the desert has to offer with the final goal of taking home the outside queen. As many of you know, Jagex announced at their summer summit that Old School will be getting a new raid in the Caridian Desert. This is super exciting news for most players, but for me, it quite literally changes everything about my account. Originally, the goal for the series was based around completion. I wanted to fill every desert collection log, acquire best in slot gear, and do everything the desert has to offer. That goal was very broad, but still a great challenge nonetheless. And with the announcement of the Tombs of a Masket, I think it's fair to say that completing a new raid without ever leaving the desert takes precedence over all my other goals. I'll most likely make a whole video dedicated to talking about how the new raid changes my account in super fine detail, but all you need to know is that this account's main goal now is to prepare for the Tombs of a Masket. This will still require me to obtain all the best in slot gear in my region, except now, there are things I was originally planning on doing that don't work into the new endgame plan. For instance, I will not be camping Calphi Queen for the pet in the jar, but I'll still most likely need to get the Dragon Chain Body and the Dragon Two-Handed Sword, but I'll probably leave it at that. I'm also probably not going to go back to the Mage Training Arena after I finish my set of Infinity Robes because the Master Wand and the Mage's Book won't be part of my most optimal gear setup for TOA. The main takeaway from this is that the new endgame goal is to conquer the tombs of a masket all without leaving the desert. Like I said, a huge part of being able to make this goal possible is to acquire all the best in slot gear from the region. Some of those items just so happen to come from Implings. They float all around RuneScape and have very useful drop tables, especially for area locked accounts. If you recall from the last episode, I've recently managed to get to level 5 Hunter, all from Genie Lamps and Books of Knowledge. With the Golden Warblers in the desert requiring level 5 Hunter to catch, and the Hunter Store in Narda that sells bird snares, I now have everything I need to start training Hunter on the account. The goal is to get to level 47 from catching birds and desert devils, and then catch orange salamanders all the way to level 99. If I ever want to have a chance at completing the Tombs of a Masket, 99 Hunter needs to happen. It's also been pointed out to me that I didn't make it clear why I need to get 99 Hunter. The short answer is that I want to be able to catch Lucky Implings. They require level 89 Hunter to catch with a net in a jar, and level 99 to bare hand catch. I have access to a butterfly net, but not an Impling jar, so I have to go all the way to max level to be able to catch these guys. The reason they're important is because their drop table is the entirety of the Clue Scroll loot table, from easy all the way to master. That's hundreds of potential drops that I can get from them, some of them being the best in slot options for me. And if the Tombs of a Masket is as difficult as I think it'll be, I'm going to need all the help I can get. I'll go more into detail with all the specific drops from Luckies that I want to get in the next episode, because today's focus is on a different Impling, the Dragon Impling. They require level 93 Hunter to bare hand catch, a bit over level 92, which is the halfway mark XP-wise to level 99. I think that makes this a great goal for the episode. I want to get to 93 Hunter and catch Dragon Implings until I have an Amulet of Glory around my neck. Their drop table has a lot of good items on them, but most important is the noted Amulets of Glory and the noted Dragonstone Amulets, which can be enchanted into Glories. After I unlock Orange Salamanders at 47 Hunter, I'm going to need to catch approximately 32,000 of them in order to get to level 93. So I should probably get started. Me and James are just standing here in the Mage Training Arena because if you watched the last episode, then you'll know that we just finished all of the Telekinetic Points and all of the Alchemy Points for Bones to Peaches and for Full Infinity. So we're about halfway done with the Mage Training Arena grind, but about halfway through the last video, we hit level five Hunter, which is huge because we can catch the Golden Warblers in the desert and start training our Hunter. And I've always thought that I wanted to get my Hunter up to 99 as fast as possible so that we can have as much time as we can to dedicate to catching Lucky Implings and Dragon Implings and getting all the stuff we can from Implings. So, we're going to put a pin in the Mage Training Arena grind for now, and we're going to go for 99 Hunter. Um, this episode, though, the goal is going to be 93, because 93 is the level that we need to catch uh, Dragon Implings barehanded. We'll be getting into all kinds of shenanigans along the way. We'll catch some Implings, we'll have some fun, we'll laugh, we'll cry, we'll have a good time. But that's the goal for this episode, is we are going to 
get to 93 Hunter, and then after that, we're going to get to 99, and then we're going to come back and finish up Full Infinity and Bones to Peaches, and it'll be so beautiful. All right, so now that we've cleared out our inventory, we can fill it up again, but with things for Hunter. So the first thing we're going to need is a bunch more water skins. Probably about, I don't know, that many more. That's probably fine. Uh, I'll buy a Shanty Pass because we're going to need it. We got the desert gear on. We got a hat. The Karis is a slash weapon in case we need to slice any cactuses to fill our water skins up. All right, so I think that should be efficient. We're going to head over to Narda because there's a hunter store in Narda where we can buy a bird snare and get this grind started. While we're in Palnivnich, however, we are going to put our dear friend James inside of the house just because we're going to be spending a lot of time in the desert heat and around, I don't know, Potentially dangerous things. I, I don't want the, the weird chance of losing the cat. Like, I'm going to be AFKing a lot, probably. I'm not going to be very effective. I might not pay attention, and I don't want any stupid mistake I make to potentially kill the cat. He was following us for pretty much the entire last episode, so he did get some airtime recently, but this episode, and probably for the whole hunter grind, he's going to sit this one out. But you know what? He's always there in spirit. I spent a lot of time in Narda in the last episode, like every time I had to recharge my run energy and fill up my water skins for Agility Pyramid, and it made me realize that I'm going to do one lap of Agility Pyramid just so I can have a nice little 10,000 cash stack in case I need uh, to pay for anything, including like carpet rides and supplies or anything like that. So I'm just going to do one quick run and that'll pretty much finance the entire grind. And there's the lap completed. I'm a little bummed out because I intentionally got it up to like a nice even 270 in the last episode and the 271 is going to hurt to leave it off at, but there it is, 10,000 coins. That should fund all of our shenanigans for the next uh, grind. Okay, so here we are in the hunter store in Narda. If we trade with this guy, we'll see all he has to offer. He's got the butterfly net and the butterfly jars. It'd be super cool if he had impling jars because then we wouldn't have to go all the way to 99, but... But unfortunately we do, so we're going to start with the bird snare. I'm going to buy two of those bad boys in case we need them. And I'll buy one unlit torch for later, for when we can use the torch to smoke out the traps and uh, increase our odds of getting the drops. But yeah. And I'll probably also buy the noose wand for when we need to catch the kebits. I think we're going to do that too. Honestly, I think that's all we need to get started with Hunter. I could be wrong. Um, we could at least do a trial run right now and see if I'm missing anything, but... I think we're good. We got a shit ton of water skins to, uh, you know, make sure we don't die to the desert heat for as long as possible because that's the biggest thing is I want to be able to stay in the hunting ground for as long as possible without having to leave. So a lot of water skins is going to be crucial. Yeah, let's go head over and start catching some birds. And yeah, we're going to wear this hat the whole time because we look friggin' sick in it. So this is the Oozer hunting area. There's golden warblers flying about. There's orange salamanders crawling around. And then there's uh, little pits where the desert devils are hiding in. The first thing we can do is lay down the bird snares and catch the golden warblers. I'm not sure where the best place to lay them down is, so I guess I'll just put them down right here because there seems to be a few birds in the area. And we'll see if we can get a bite. We can only lay down one trap at the moment. You'll see we're going to need a higher hunter level to lay down a second trap, but I think level 20 is when we can unlock the second one. And look at that, we already got a bite. Let's check it out. 47 hunter XP and an easy task. Oh my goodness. And actually, I just got reminded of something. So a lot of people in the comments have been asking about the diaries. All about the diaries, how many I can do, when am I gonna start doing the diaries, all these questions about the diaries. I told myself I was gonna talk about it after I hit five hunter. And I guess here we are at five hunter, so I'll talk about it now. Real quick, the only diary that I can do all the way through, complete every single task in, is the easy. I can't do the medium, but I can do the whole easy diary. Um, I was waiting until five hunter because that's the only skill I needed uh, to finish it. So I guess we'll let's actually, before we get too committed to this grind, let's go do the easy desert diary just because we can. The reason we can't do the medium hard and elite diaries is because there's a lot of quests and stuff needed. Like for the medium diary, we're going to need to do the golem, and we can't do that without access to the dig site. Eagle's Peak is obviously not in the desert. And Akra's Lament, we're going to need maple logs, which we can't get in the desert. The easy diary is the only one that we can do all the way through, and I think we're going to do that since we can now. And this is five clays mined in the desert. Just killed a vulture, another easy task, and loot the sarcophagus right here. There's an easy task. And I'm pretty sure we can take these things we got from Pyramid Plunder and turn them into him. And that should be an easy task to turn those in. Yep, there they are. We're just going to pick this up and drop it a few times. 
And this is the task right here to pick up five potato cactuses inside of the calphite layer. And this should be the very last thing we need to do, just have Zahir clean uh, herb for me. There it is. And there it is. Congratulations, you've completed all the easy tasks in the desert area. Speak to Jar at Shanty Pass to claim your reward. You know what? I think we will. So we made it back to Shanty Pass. Where is he at? There you are, Jar. What you got for me? I've completed all the easy tasks. Sweet, I got an amulet and an XP lamp. This amulet is a symbol of your exploration of the Caridian Desert. You can now charge a Pharaoh's Scepter with four charges, I believe, instead of three. Simul Templeton will purchase artifacts in banknote form. Uh, useless. <laughs> and this is the most important one. This is the most important thing for my account. Desert Goat Horns are now dropped as notes, which means every time we kill the Desert Goat Horns, they'll drop noted form so we can stack them in our inventory as opposed to having like individual spaces for the horns. And the Desert Goat Horns are used for combat potions when they're mixed with Hairlanders, so that is going to be super useful eventually when we start doing that. We can just talk to him and get the amulet back if we ever drop it. It doesn't have any stats or anything, but it does look pretty cool, so we're gonna rock this for our 99 Hunter grind. Okay, so I looked it up, and we can only use the lamp in skills that are over level 30. So I'm just gonna pop it into Herblore. We're gonna need the extra XP anyway, so put that right in there. And boom, 2,500 XP. Brings us up to level 32, very close to 33. That's pretty nice. And with all that said and done, it's time to actually start the hunter grind. Very nice, we got one. And this is the first level of the grind, level six. This bird right here brings me up to level 13 hunter. Now I can track desert devils and I'm gonna give that a shot right now. I haven't really done uh, like Kevit tracking in a long time, so I'm not really sure how to do it. I'm just gonna give it a shot and then click attack once we find him. And there we go, 66 hunter XP for that and some bullshit. And here's a juicy little hunter level coming in right here, level 40. There's not really much to show with this grind, honestly, it's just, you know, clicking birds every once in a while, but we can now place three traps at a time, which is actually clutch as hell, so I'm gonna go buy a third trap. And the rest of this grind to 47 should be no problem. Wait, why'd I put that down? I just said I was about to go get a trap. I'm on autopilot at this point, man. I don't know what to say. All right, guys, we're really close to a uh, 47 Hunter here, and we did just get a genie lamp. I'm gonna pop this into Herblore, and that's probably where we're gonna keep our lamps uh, for the rest of the account. Just put them into Herblore to get that sweet XP. See that? 33 Herblore, already coming in handy. All right, guys, this is it. The last bird we need to unlock orange salamanders. Let's see it. There we go, 47 Hunter. We can now trap orange salamanders. This is the best hunter method all the way to 99. Uh, that means we can stop uh, catching birds. We can stop catching the birds. They were good to us, but we're not gonna catch them anymore. Uh, now we gotta go kind of fix our inventory a little bit, grab the ropes and the small nets and get ready for that grind. All right, so I got 11,000 yellow feathers here from that grind, which equals about almost 900,000 coins. I'm gonna drop these bad boys on the ground right here. And we're gonna see which one of these lucky guys from stream can pick it up first. There we go. <laughs> Congratulations to this guy who got the 900k worth of feathers. I hope you put that to good use. And with that out of the way, we're all geared up. We got our nets and our ropes. We are ready to go head over to Orange Salamanders for the first time. All right, so this is the Orange Salamander hunting area. We got these young trees here and we just click on them and all we need is a rope and a small fishing net and it sets a trap. Currently we can only set three up, so we're gonna stick to this area right here. And once we unlock the fourth one, then there's an area down here with four traps. But I'm gonna get a few of these guys caught and I'll show you the kind of XP per hour we can be expecting. Obviously not very well, cause they don't seem to like the traps very much. All right, so here's our first orange salamander. Absolutely iconic moment right here. So we get 224 XP for every single one of these guys. That is a huge upgrade, oh my God. Uh, there was also a medium task in the desert. That's pretty cool too. All right, so I've given the XP time to balance out a little bit here. And it looks like we're at around like 40,000 XP per hour with this. And this is me like just figuring the method out and everything. And once I get higher level and have a higher success rate, it'll probably get higher, but holy shit, a jump from like not even 10,000 XP per hour to over 40,000. This is pretty damn nice. All right, guys, we are one salamander away from hitting level 60 hunter. There it is. 
We can now catch Eclectic Implings barehanded and use four traps at the same time. Those are two huge unlocks. Yeah, we can now use four traps instead of three. So the XP per hour is going to go up by a lot. We have an extra trap right here. It might be a little inconvenient because we got these big ass boulders in the way, but we'll persevere. The XP per hour is going to be so much nicer now. Okay, so taking a little break from the hunter grind right now because I happened across an impling. I forget which one, but it gave me a fire talisman. And that reminded me that I can actually start getting some runecrafting experience on the account. I mined a silver ore and turned it into a silver bar and picked up a tiara mold. And we're about to head over and make a tiara, which we can turn into a fire tiara for, I believe, 50 runecrafting XP. And then I can head over to the fire runecrafting altar right here. And I believe when I use the tiara on here, that should make this into a fire tiara and give me some runecrafting XP. So say goodbye to the zero XP pure. I guess it's only 35 XP, but that's the first runecraft XP on the account. And that is probably how we're gonna be getting our level up to uh, up to 14 so we can start crafting fire runes. I think I'm gonna make a goal in the account to craft a lava rune. It's like a dumb goal. It doesn't really matter very much, but it's like a completionist thing and uh, doesn't need to be rushed because it's not very important. But yeah, that's how we'll be getting runecraft XP on the account. All right, this is the first huge impling milestone in the hunter grind. We just hit level 75, which means we can now barehand the uh, magpie implings. There it is, barehand the magpie implings. I think that natures are technically a rare impling, but magpies are definitely a rare impling spawn and they have a pretty sweet drop table. And by sweet, I just mean noted black dragon hides and a lot of items that alk for some good money. And there's one now. Let's go see what we can get from here. Come on, you got this. A pineapple seed, oh God, how useless. <laughs> Oh well, it's it's still nice to, you know, still nice to be able to catch one. And magpie impling number two, let's see what we can get. Four diamonds, not terrible. We got a level coming in. There it is, level 80 hunter. That one feels pretty damn good to get, honestly. Uh, it's our first skill in the 80s. We can now use up to five traps, but we're not going to. Uh, because it's not really worth it because we only have the four traps right here and we're already running around constantly So we're just gonna stick to this. I think the XP rates are pretty good All right guys, and this is the last one that we need to get up another level Here we are 84 this one is another milestone level because we unlocked another impling that we can catch barehanded It doesn't show in the chat box, but we just unlocked Barehanded ninja implings we can now catch ninja implings in the desert ninja implings are like upgraded versions of magpies they have a lot of rune items that elk for a lot of money, but they also have some really important drops such as snakeskin boots, the rune scimitar, and noted prayer potions and weapon poisons. We're going to keep on going with the hunter grind for now, and if we see a ninja impling fly by, because they do fly by here sometimes, then we'll catch it and I'll keep you guys updated, but we're going to do a big ol' impling catching grind after we unlock dragon implings at 93, so get ready for that. And here's another hunter level coming in. We just hit 85. This one's only important because this is the quarter way to being done with the 99 point. So yeah, quarter of the way done with the grind. Feeling pretty good so far. All right, so I just got a shout out on stream that there's a ninja impling around here somewhere. So let's see if we can find it and get our first ninja impling. There it is. Thank you, Tiger Lady, for the shout. Can we get a rune scimitar? A split bark helmet, okay. I think that's useless. I'm pretty sure that's useless. That's just gonna be an elk, it looks like. But thank you very much for the show. And we got another fire talisman from the, uh, I think the earth implings. So that means another chance to get some runecraft XP. Another 35, we're one away from level two runecraft. Pardon my voice, I'm a little sick right now, but I was doing some hunter and we got this ninja impling right here. Let's see if we can get anything good from it before it runs away. Mystic Gloves, that is pretty damn cool actually. I think I will high elk these eventually once I get the infinity set, but for now, I'm just gonna wear them because that looks kinda good. Again, sorry for the messed up voice, I'm still sick, but we have reached another milestone in our hunter grind. Level 90, that looks so good. Uh, this doesn't really give us anything specifically, but you know, level 90, that's a huge accomplishment. We are almost halfway there. We're pretty damn close to our goal for the episode, which is 93, and Dragon Implings unlocked, so we're just going to keep going. 
Until we get it, there's so many more to go. Day 19 was pretty eventful. We hit level 35 Herblore from a genie lamp. We hit 91 Hunter, and we got our first runecrafting level at level two. All right, guys, there's 92 Hunter. We are officially halfway done with the grind, as you all know. We're one level away from being able to catch Dragon Implings, which is the goal for this episode, so we're very close. <laughs> we're very close. This means that we've caught approximately 29,000 orange salamanders so far. Another 29,000 to go. This is it, guys. <laughs> At long last. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At long last, we have officially gotten to the end of the goal for this video. 93 Hunter on the Desert Locked Ultimate Iron Man. Let's fucking go. We can now, there's not gonna be a box that pops up for it, but we can now bare hand Dragon Implings, and we can get an Amulet of Glory, Dragon Stones, Noted Bones, a lot of good alkables, all kinds of stuff like that from them. We've been catching Salamanders for about three weeks now, and it feels good to be done with the first leg of this journey. Only one thing left to do in this episode, and that's to see if we can catch a few Dragon Implings and get a couple items from them. So let's see what we can find. special thanks to all my viewers because over the course of two streams we had a lot of volunteers to help scout ninja and dragon implings and this is what we found This is it guys, our first dragon impling on the account. What are we gonna get from it? Can we get an amulet of glory or a dragon stone amulet from our very first one? Dragon stones, yes, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's so good, dude, that's so good. This is so good. This is, uh, this is my ring of wealth. This is my combat bracelet in the future. I'm not gonna be able to make either of those for a while, but I will keep these on me so that I can uh, have these for when I need them. But yeah, that is a really good drop to get, man. That's gonna come in handy. I'm gonna, after I get 99 Hunter and finish up Infinity, I'm gonna go back to Temperas and get my crafting up to 50 so I can make the Ring of Wealth. So it's gonna be really nice to already have the Dragon Stones. Here's a really rare sight. We actually managed to find a Lucky Impling in our little scouting adventure we're having. This is the first one I've ever seen in the desert, but you know, it's it's good to know that they're actually around here. So majestic. And it despawned. I'll be able to catch them one day. And we got another dragon impling. Can we catch it? He's all the way over there. No. Come on, come to me. Come to me. Dragon dart tips, very nice. Same day, there's another lucky impling. They're just teasing me, man. What are the odds we get two lucky implings in one day and I, my poor ass can't catch them? One day. Got another dragon impling. This one's all mine. I'm stealing it, I don't care. I don't care if this guy's going for it. Dragon bones, let's go, dude. We got a dragon impling scouted by these two lads right here. Are we gonna get a glory? Mystic Robe Bottom, look at this guy. <laughs> Budget Infinity Robes right here. More Mystic Gloves, so many Mystic Gloves, man. And another Dragon Impling, what do we get from this guy? 
Come on. Come on, please. Come on. <laughs> Why? Yes, that's it. That's the that's the amulet of glory. We got it. Yes. <laughs> that was so fast, man. That was so fast. 50 minutes into the stream, we got the amulet of glory. <laughs> that's so fucking pog, dude. Oh my god, what are we going to do for the rest of the stream, man? <laughs> Thank you to these guys for being the ones to scout the last one, or the, the Dragonstone. Um, all right, so there's two ways we could have gotten the glory from the Dragon Implings. We could have either gotten the Amulet of Glory or the Dragonstone Amulet, which is the one we got, because we have the we have the magic level to enchant it, and we can buy the runes for it. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right. This is, <laughs> this is the moment that the Hunter Grind has been leading up to. Uh, we can unnote these at the bank. We got our Dragonstone Amulets. And then I can use this on one of them, and there it is. The Amulet of Glory has been achieved on the Desert Locked Ultimate Iron Man. <laughs> the best in slot necklace in the desert. That feels so good, man. Thanks to everyone for hanging out. Thanks to everyone for scouting Implings. Thanks for everyone for hanging out on the streams. This isn't the end of it, though. We do have a lot more Hunter to go to get to 99. <laughs> We're still going to catch a few more Implings before we get back to the grind, but literally raid ready, yeah. This changes. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to say that. And also to celebrate, we got a Fire Talisman from Earth Implings, and I'm pretty sure this is the one that we need to get us up another runecrafting level. There it is, level three. And one more. What can we get? Please? Oh my god, back to back. Are you serious? <laughs> Alright, so we just bought a butterfly net from the Hunter store in Narda, and we can actually check on this all of the implings that we caught. Yeah, this is it. We caught 32 ninjas and seven dragons are the most important, but we also caught like 30 magpies, 12 natures, 50 eclectics, all stuff like that. Pretty good totals for the episode. We made huge freaking gains, like crazy gains. 93 hunter, amulet of glory, dragon stones, bones. Yeah, dude, I don't know. We're looking good. Um, I can't wait for the next episode. We're finally going to unlock lucky implings. We're going all the way to 99 in the next episode. We'll see what we can get. And then we can start focusing on getting ready for Raids 3. That's right. But in the meantime, I gotta get back to Hunter. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time for another episode of Deserted. Thank you guys.